Oh, hey, hi, I'm Chris, I'm Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. Man, I'm out here sweating like a dog before it gets neutered. And going over today's science file. And today's science file, let's go. How is sweat made and do dogs sweat? Well, that's a great question. Try this. You will need a container, some water, some rubbing alcohol, and a desk fan. Okay, today we're talking sweat. No, no, not, not sweet. Sweat. S-W-E-A-T. Start by getting yourself one of these desk fans. a container and a bottle of water. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to pour some of the water over one of your hands. Now, place this hand in front of the fan. Yeah, that feels kind of cool, but check this out. Get yourself some rubbing alcohol, and you're going to pour the rubbing alcohol on your dry hand. Whoa! Ho, ho, ho. That's cold just right now. Now, place this hand and your other hand in front of the fan. Whoa! Ho, ho, ho. Man! This hand right here that has the rubbing alcohol on it feels like it's freezing. While this hand just feels cool. Now, what does this have to do with sweat? And do dogs, well, sweat? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. Sweat is made up mostly of water and salt with a few other minerals like potassium that are produced in what are known as acrine sweat glands. These glands are tubular groups of cells that are connected to the blood vessels, filter out the blood, and send water to the surface of the skin. Sweat cools your body by absorbing an enormous amount of body heat. As the water evaporates off the skin, it takes the body heat with it, just like how the rubbing alcohol evaporates really quickly. Sweat doesn't actually have a smell, but the odor that comes from your underarms starts out as a special fatty sweat that comes from African sweat glands. Bacteria that live on the underarm hair snack on this fatty sweat and produce waste. And it's this waste that actually smells. The reason armpit sweat smells is because it's an evolutionary way of attracting a mate. Women are attracted to a pheromone that is produced by the African sweat glands. You may have heard that dogs don't sweat because they don't have sweat glands, but they most definitely do sweat through sweat glands on their paws. But since so little heat is lost through their paws, they lose more heat by panting, by sending air over a wet, moist tongue and evaporating the heat from their body quickly. Mammals are the only animals that sweat. So now you know the importance of sweat. You know, testing the evaporation of different liquids off your skin is why science is so cool.